Alright, ready? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on! Okay. I'm hitting myself mad on that hard. First to cut off my hizzer, sipping on some hizzer. No. And then I is next. Let's go. Yo, this is really happening. Look at how cute it looks, though. Oh, you do look cute. Are we really doing this? Do it, do it, do it. Lily, I'm having anxiety. I'm gonna cut the first piece. No. Butch. Just cut the like front, because once you cut the front, you There's can't no go back. back. There's no turning back. Alright, so I do not want to be attached to my hair. Its hair is gonna grow back, and I wanna try something new. So let's do it. Hey y'all, welcome to Kicking It with Ari. I'm Ari, and today we're talking about. My hair journey. Um, so September 23rd, 2020, I decided to cut off all of my hair. Um, for me, I wanted it to just be a renewing. Um, I felt very attached to my hair. I feel like my personality, um, how I acted and all of that stuff was kind of related to my hair. I felt like, you know, I was just mad cute because I had long curly hair um super defined curls and honestly I didn't take care of my hair as well as I should have I had a good bit of heat damage um I don't think my hair was colored at that time but it just didn't look as great as it could and I wanted to embrace my real curls undamaged um not mess with and just feel new I had first went natural back in high school, so I want to say like 2010 I had first went natural, cut off all my hair, and that was a traumatic time, being in high school, um, having very, very, very short hair, and just not being my best self at that age, because who really is at that time? But I really wanted to redo this and just feel new. So I was like, I'm going to big chop one more time and do this the right way and be my most confident self. Um, plans changed. <laughs> Cut off all my hair and I hated it. <laughs> um, but for me, I just didn't feel confident without my hair. And I was also going through a really, really bad acne breakout. So not having hair on top of the breakout, on top of just life. I was so mean to me like I did not like my hair so September I did it October November December we're in January and for all four of those months majority of the time I wore wigs and still do um, I'm not gonna lie though I do love my hair now like it grew a couple inches grew out a little shot and shot in and you know I'm feeling myself feeling myself I'm feeling my feeling my alright sorry give you a little bit of a closer look get some detail going or whatever so I won't lie I dyed my hair red when I first went natural I'll do a picture somewhere oh so I dyed my hair red um it was red red and I wasn't in love with it so I did go back to black and the blacks fading a little bit and I got a little bit of color coming through I don't know if the camera's picking up on it at all but it's not completely black. It looks kind of like reddish undertones. So I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so with this video, basically, I'm going to be doing a monthly update on my hair growth. I'm never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> cutting my hair ever again. Like, it's it's not happening. So um, 
I was like, it'd be cool to do a little hair growth thing monthly. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, for starters, I'm just going to be measuring from this part of my hair because that's really all I can grab. So what I'll do, I got my little front piece. Boop. Smooth that bad boy out. And as of right now, grew a good bit actually. It starts, it stops like literally right where the bridge of my nose is, um, in between my eyes. <laughs> so right now that's what we've got. Um, I'm also working on growing my edges. Um, it's genetic for me. And I'm sure a lot of tension hairstyles, but my edges are thin. Thin, thin. They thin, thin. But, um, they sleek so easy. Like, when I tell you I can swoop-de-whoop with water, like, I can swoop-de-whoop with water. But, in here, I need to grow that in. Which doesn't, I'm not going to lie, like, I don't understand why it's doing this to me. But my mom and my grandmother have it. This side's not as bad. But it's still pretty bad. So I'm working to grow those out. I have a oil regimen I'll be using. Um, but this is just an introductory of what I'm going to be doing. So follow the journey or whatever. Every month I'm going to be doing an update. Um, what products do I use? I guess we can go over that or whatever. Be right back. I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so for the hair products that I use, um, the Shea Moisture Honey Manuka line, I absolutely swear by. When I had hair, when I had longer hair, um, I used it and my hair absolutely loved it. My hair loves thick, moisturizing stuff. It just, it loves it. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a hair mask, but I use this as a conditioner regularly. It just leaves my hair really soft. And she thick, th 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 th. she thick. Like she's not going nowhere. And every day I really put this in my hair. Um, for moisture. This is the shampoo that I use. I shampoo once every two weeks, once every three weeks. It's pretty sporadic, I'm not gonna lie. If my hair feels like it needs to be shampooed, I'm gonna shampoo it. But I try not to do it often because, like I said, my hair gets dry and I don't want dry hair. Duh. Um, after I put in the conditioner, I'll do wild growth oil. And honestly, I've been just refilling it with castor oil forever and I really focus on my edges with this and just rub it in try and get them things banging um wish me luck and then if I want to smooth down my edges a little shine shine then I'll use as I am smoothing gel it's very light um but like I said my hair doesn't my edges especially don't take much to slick so and it smells amazing like amazing um, so that's really it for this hair update introduction. I am going to be doing a rice water treatment, um, monthly also. So what it'll do, what I'll do is I'll do, um, the rice treatment afterwards, my deep conditioner, wash that out, re-put it in there because that's my conditioner as well. And I'll record once a month too my growth and I'm really gonna focus on this little piece that we had up front that's how I'll monitor it and I'll show you the rest of it okay a little bit. I don't know how to do this <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Up top. We got some inches up top. Don't be fooled. 
Like I could. Okay. Don't play. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's all for today. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>